In this video, we will be talking about car immobilizer system wiring diagram. I will explain the whole wiring diagram in front of you. Uh, this topic is a little bit difficult, but I will try to give you full understanding of this system because this system is important. This is anti-theft system in which uh, the car is protected from thieves and it is protected from protected from theft. So then, uh, any thief if he or she is trying to uh, pick up the car or trying to steal the car so this system is avoiding uh, that uh, steal process so here i'm going to explain this first of all you have to understand from the block diagram because the block diagram is creating simplicity and it will bring some simplicity so that you will be able to understand the original circuit with the help of this black block diagram so the block diagram is showing that there are some components like ecm ecm is the main computer of the car which is responsible for the whole system i mean to say the injectors this is controlling the injector and this is controlling the ignition as well so if injector supply we stop from here or ignition supply we stop from here so the engine will cease it will stop it will immobilize and it will not work so this is what the immobilizer is functioning that it is stopping the pulses from the injectors are uh, and in some system this is uh, stopping uh, pulses from ignition system as well uh, both are one injector pulses are both injector and ignition so this is the way immobilizer fun is functioning and if there is original key is found uh, to the system then it is providing the pulses to the uh, injectors and pulses to the ignition system and it is uh, cancelling the immobilizer and it is making the car run or start so this is the way it is working so here is the system how it works uh, first of all while we are putting the key in the cylinder so there is a switch which is known as unlocking warning switch assembly this switch is closed so it is providing a ground over here to the key uh, transponder key ecu assembly this is a small computer which is for the the key especially for the key or transponder uh, for this electronic key and sometimes it is not there in some cars and this transponder key amplifier is directly communicating with the ECM or the ECU or the computer which is responsible for the engine and they are in, in such a system they have made this transponder key uh, ECU inside the original or the main ECM in main is I mean to say uh, main ECM is sharing some portion for uh, this transponder key ECU this was in some cars older cars but in newer car the concept is this is a separate unit and there is a special communication in between those and that communication is very very much important that is known as synchronization synchronization we will see in some other video not in this video while key is inserted in the key cylinder so first of all the switch is closed I'm telling again and then while it is there so this uh, transponder key ECU assembly is providing power to the transponder key amplifier and this coil is energized and this uh, transponder which is there in the key inside the key head that is very close to this coil that is in the pro close proximity so it is energized from this coil burst and then while it is energized it is releasing its code there are two type of codes are written in this uh, transponder uh, unit and those codes are coming to this coil and that coil is taking that uh, those two uh, codes and the amplifier is amplifying those codes and giving to the transponder key ecu assembly so here the chip is there which is containing the data which is there in the key that data is already stored here so it, that data is compared to the coming data the chip data is compared to the transponder data which is coming from the key if that is matching so then it is giving a signal to the ecm that the key is okay the code is correct the key is original and you have to start the engine you have to cancel the immobilizer so ecm is canceling the immobilizer and that is providing the injector pulses and ignition pulses and then it is giving a return signal to the transponder key ecu assembly and that is telling to the transponder key assembly this return signal that the immobilizer has been cancelled and you have to uh, stop blinking this security indicator so this security indicator is stopped that time while there is original key in the key cylinder this was what was the concept hope you people understood and hope you people understood the 
uh, block diagram. So now we are going to the original diagram. In the original diagram, you can see there are two power sources. One is IG 7.5 ampere IG IG fuse, and then uh, then there is the battery fuse, which is 10 ampere ECU uh, B2 fuse. This blue and black wire. This is coming, and here is it's this small. Uh, brown wire and that is fed to directly to the transponder key ECU assembly this is the key ampli key ECU actually this is not the genuine uh, this is not the original one I mean to say the original ECU is over here this is the key transponder so then this key transponder is communicating with this one this transponder key amplifier and coil is there that is the integrated part of uh, this unit now when there is a key inside the key is inserted in the key cylinder then here is the switch which is unlocking switch this switch is closed it is providing a ground on the key sw line on the uh, key transponder transponder key ecu assembly and that ground is seen by this ecu and then this ecu is providing some 5 volt power over here to VC5 line this black line and VC5 line is taking this power and providing to the transponder key amplifier that well it is received over here the ground is there so this power is feeding to this coil and this coil is magnetized and that is providing uh, further power to the key head uh, transponder I mean to say this is by proximity by magnetic coupling this power is given to the key and the key is releasing two codes which are coming by this code line and then txct line these two codes are provided and this code is the key code and this is the registration code and that is provided to the transponder key ecu here it is comparing both codes which is stored inside the chip and code coming from these lines from the key mean to from the key so while it is matched it is telling by the EFIO line to the main ECU that cancel immobilizer. This is the ECM for the main, main engine control, the ignition and, and uh, uh, injectors. So it is telling that you have to cancel the immobilizer and supply pulses to the ignition system as well as to the injectors so that the engine should start. So while it is done, it is returning a signal that is EFII and it is telling to the transponder key ECU that the ECU had been cancelled and you have to stop blinking this uh, tail light light assembly by this from number 8 this yellow wire is connected to the tail light uh, light assembly and this light is cancelled and then uh, it is showing that the immobilizer had been cancelled and now the car can be started or the car is already started so this is the way it works and here there is another line which is front door courtesy light door switch this is for the programming purpose actually if you are going to program some key some slave key or some wallet key in the key cylinder then this switch has some sequence we have to close and close open close and open close and open and some five six times we will discuss that later in some video and then from this CTY line it is detected and then it is going to the programming mode and programming key the new key is being has been programmed in it but for that procedure you must have to have minimum one uh, master key otherwise you cannot do it if you lost all the keys then there is another procedure here is the DLC line here is the D cell line which is coming from D um, D terminal over here from this key ECU and that is going to the cell line 7 number line to the DLC connector DLC 3 connector and here if you have a programming equipment some Chinese programming equipment if you have or the OEM programming equipment if you have then uh, you can program uh, from this DLC connector uh, that, that that is for all keys lost or for for even for copies or whatever procedure you want you can do it from here uh, so this was what was the procedure how an immobilizer works in a car immobilizer system is very much important for any car this had been invented in some back in 90s and still it is used on cars on many cars almost all cars are equipped with this system so you must have to understand this uh, concept is a little bit tricky a little bit difficult but hope if you watch this video carefully you will understand uh, so if you understood this concept and you learned something from my video then you have to like this video subscribe my channel 
press on the bell icon and press on the all so then you will get my notifications on each upload i am bringing very nice videos for you and thank you guys uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned